Hello! I know it has been a while since I've made a video and I apologize. I just haven't had the time to sit down and do this, but I did save the box for you. So this is June's box. Um, we are going to Brazil um, and that's exciting because I, I don't think we have had very many boxes from South America. Um, so a little bit about Brazil, it is 80% uh, the Amazon, basically. So the entire country almost is the Amazon rainforest. It is home to more animals and creatures than any other continent, any other continent, any other country. It has such a variety. And there's also some interesting facts that I'll share that I've learned from the little booklet um, along the way. So let's get started. Uh, we've got the first item is something I cannot pronounce. That's one thing. Um, in Brazil, the main language is Portuguese. And they say that Portuguese is similar to Spanish, um, but I um, have found it difficult to <laughs> figure out how to pronounce some of these words. So, um, it's this, and I don't know how to pronounce it, um, but let's try it. They are, in Brazil, they're famous for their meat, like their style of meat. So they have restaurants, a Brazilian steakhouse, where you just, they just come around with bunches of different types of meats on skewers and you can eat as much as you want, basically. And um, this is reminiscent of that. So this is basically uh, barbecue flavored, but Brazilian barbecue flavored chips. Oh, these are cute. So they're an interesting shape. Um, they're like little hats, almost. They've got an interesting shape. Ooh, they smell really good, like kind of meaty. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Mmm, very crunchy. I've been to a Brazilian steakhouse and it's overwhelming. Like, you can eat as much as you want. There's no time limit. You can just sit there and eat forever. Uh, the meat is very rich. They have a lot of different cuts uh, that you can try. And they have, you know, beef, chicken, pork, shrimp even. Um, so at least at this restaurant and it's all really good. Uh, the bottom, I don't remember what my favorite cut was, but it was super flavorful, really tender, super delicious. Anyway, these guys have a meaty flavor. They're very thin and I believe they're corn chips. Uh, they're, <laughs> whoops, they're so thin you can really, I mean, see through them. You can see light passing through. I'm really enjoying these. They are crisp, thin, the flavor is very good, um, a little bit meaty, definitely has a barbecue flavor, but not as sweet as American barbecue, and I really like that. Well, let's move on to the next thing. So I guess Brazilians really like their spice, and they have um, a pepper that I could not pronounce, <laughs> but it's one of the hottest peppers. It's, uh, I believe they said, oh, I'm not, I'm not, I don't remember now. It's uh, 133 times hotter than Frank's red hot sauce. So if you've ever had Frank's, this pepper that they have is 133 times hotter. So thankfully, or not thankfully, because I kind of wish I could try something made with that pepper, even though it would probably burn me out. Um, this, <clears throat> this next snack is like, pepper crackers, but they're made with jalapeno, um, which is a hundred times less spicy than this other pepper. That fine, I'll try and pronounce it for you. Um, ma malaguata peppers? I probably butchered that. Uh, so anyway, let's try this pepper cracker. I'm not a huge fan of super hot things. I like I like spice, but I still want to be able to taste after I've had it, so. Oh, they're so cute and little. It smells like salt and vinegar. I don't know. It's 
smells kind of vinegary. These are adorable. They're really tiny and they're kind of puffed. They're like little puffed crackers. Um, they're adorable. They're hollow on the inside. Ooh, ooh. I can definitely taste fresh pepper. <coughs> Whoa. That's a little hot. I can definitely taste the pepper. Um, I can definitely taste that it's, uh, it seems really fresh. Like the flavor, it doesn't taste like uh, pepper flavoring. It tastes like an actual pepper, like you're biting into a pepper. I don't know how to explain this. It's very fresh tasting. I'm gonna try one more without choking. Mm-hmm. It's really good. Again, it's very thin um, because it's puffed and hollow. Uh, it's just very crisp and delicate, I would say. Both of these snacks that I've tried are very delicate. Um, I imagine that they could smash and crush really easily. However, I really love that they are crispy and not heavy at all, very light, and the flavors so far have been really good. Okay, let's move on to the next thing. We've got, oh, okay, this looks really good. Um, sorry, I'll show you. So this is, um, again, something I can't pronounce. I've been having trouble with these, but basically it's a spiced honey bread covered in chocolate. And Brazil apparently is known for bread. Um, which is great because I love bread, obviously. Uh, so the thing about this bread, though, is they discovered, uh, somebody discovered, I don't know, Europeans or something, discovered that um, if you put honey in bread, it preserves it a little bit better. And if you coat it in chocolate, it preserves it even more. Um, and Brazilian honey is apparently really good. These are adorable. They look like little cookies almost. Um, or in England, they would say biscuits. But I'm in America, so we call them cookies. And yeah, let's just get into this. Honey spiced bread covered in chocolate. Oh my God. This is so good. Oh my gosh. Like, it's soft. I'll show you the inside. It's soft and crumbly on the inside. There's a thin layer of chocolate. The flavor of the bread is not super sweet. Um, well, not to me. I really, I like sweet. So it, you can definitely taste the honey coming through. The texture is lovely. Just very soft. Um, <sighs> this would be great with coffee and coffee is actually one of the Brazilians favorite drink. Um, for breakfast, they just basically drink coffee, uh, which a lot of Americans do as well. This is the best thing I've had out of this so far and they give you a huge box of it which I'm super excited about because this is so good <laughs> I can't even I can't tell you enough how good this is um yeah like I just want to eat that whole thing it's so good I'm gonna pull myself away from it let's move on uh, okay so speaking of breakfast um, I don't know if they exist, but there could be Brazilians that don't like coffee. And in that case, their breakfast alternative is yogurt. And it's a little bit different than I think American yogurt and if they have yogurt in other countries because they make it really sweet and because they like sweet, which is cool with me because I like sweet too. But these are kind of an idea of yogurt. They're yogurt gummies. And so they have a few different flavors. They have coconut, peach, strawberry, and something else. I don't know. 
Oh, banana. Um, so we'll try these. I like fruit flavors. Um, we'll, we'll try a strawberry. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's good. You can definitely taste the yogurt. Um, wow. That's really good because you have sweetness, you have like a sugar coating on the outside. The gummy is kind of in between soft and a hard gummy. It's not super soft, but it's not difficult to chew either. Um, some of the Asian gummies, they call it like QQ. It's very chewy. Uh, these are not, not like uh, springy. You can bite down. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's a great texture. So the thing is though, you can taste the sweetness from the fruit flavoring and then a tanginess from the yogurt flavor, which is great. Um, I love that, the sweetness but with a little bit of tanginess. That is nice um, flavor contrast. So these flavors are a bit complex and I'm really, I'm really liking it. I'd love to go to Brazil. Another reason I want to go to Brazil is because they ha are home to the three-toed sloth and three-toed sloths are adorable. They also have um, pink river dolphins. So Brazil basically has unicorns. These pink river dolphins, let me see if I have, oh yeah, here's a picture. They're so cute. They're like pink bottlenose dolphins. It's actually a type of whale. Uh, which is interesting, and orca, which is also known as killer whales, are dolphins. So it's weird, they call this a dolphin, but it's actually a whale. They call orcas whales, killer whales, but they're actually dolphins. I don't understand how that works. I'm not a scientist, but um, it's just interesting to me. So <clears throat> I wanna go to Brazil because it looks really fun. I've got a few more things here. This next thing, uh, okay, so they're really famous for coconut, obviously. It's tropical. They've got a lot of coconuts there. I'm not a huge fan of coconut, to be honest. Um, they put coconut, at least in the United States, they put, co like, they make coconut a flavor or a, a scent in lotion and suntan oil and lotion. So when I'm eating coconut, it reminds me of eating lotion. Um, so I don't know, that's weird. I just, it's odd to me. But there are some things that are coconut that I can, I like. So we'll see if this is one of them. Um, so this is just a chocolate bar with layers of wafer and also coconut. So we're gonna give it a try. I've tried things I didn't like before on here and excuse me, sometimes I do like them and sometimes I don't. So we'll just test it out. Um, I do this for you. Oh, it's cute. It's like a um, pyramid shape. We're just going to take a bite. Oh, yeah. There's that suntan scent. Suntan lotion scent. Mm. The wafers are nice and crispy. Um, the chocolate is nice. It has... So the flavor... It's pretty good. I don't mind the coconut flavor, but the smell is just overwhelmingly reminding me of suntan lotion. Um, and that, I just don't, I don't know, I don't find that appetizing. Um, I'm going to eat this whole thing because I love chocolate and I'll take it in any form. And the coconut flavor isn't completely overwhelming. Uh, like a, a Mounds bar, it's basically just tons of coconut packed into a thin layer of chocolate and I cannot eat those. They're not good to me. Um, but this, this has a nice balance of coconut, but also the wafer and the chocolate on the outside. So next we have, uh, almond doinks, almond, almond doinks. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Um, but this is a peanut candy and it's interesting. Peanuts were actually discovered by Portuguese settlers and the aboriginals of Brazil had been using, you know, peanuts forever. Um, and they, you know, made it around the world. 
but we might not have peanut butter if Brazil had not been discovered, which would suck because peanut butter is awesome. Let's try this. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, it's got a sugar coating on the outside and it seems like it's a little bit soft, like nougat maybe. It has a very strong peanut flavor. Uh, peanut smell. The aroma is very peanutty. Not flavor, I haven't tested it yet. Mmm. Mmm. The texture is really good. Nice and chewy. Very soft. Mmm. It's just pure, sweet peanut butter flavor. It's really lovely. If you like peanut butter, you will love that. It's like peanut butter nougat. It reminds me a little bit of peanut butter fudge, um, which I love. Chocolate peanut butter fudge. Just forget about it. <laughs> Eat the whole thing. Uh, yeah, so that's really good. Um, the next thing I've got is banana comb chocolate. I'm sorry about my American accent. I know I'm butchering everything. But here it is. So um, Brazilians love bananas, apparently. They are what was the statistic like the most they grow the most bananas out of any country top banana producer and the thing is though they don't export a lot of bananas because the citizens of Brazil eat them all so you I don't think I've ever had a Brazilian banana and you might not have either unless you live in Brazil because they just don't export them um, or if you've been to Brazil I suppose. So this is the closest we can get to the real thing without going there. It is smashed up bananas with sugar and covered in chocolate. Um, I think I'm gonna like this. I'm not a huge fan of banana but American bananas are usually um, they've been sitting around for a while off of the tree, so they lack flavor just because they've had to import them from quite far away, and they've been sitting there for a while. So um, when my brother came back from, I don't remember if he was, he was somewhere in Central or South America, it was either Costa Rica or Honduras, and he said the bananas were amazing. So. Let's try this. I keep talking. Oh, okay. Mm. That is interesting. I'm definitely getting banana, but I'm also, I'm also getting kind of a raisin flavor, um, which is interesting or, uh, prune. That's really fascinating. It's a good flavor. It's not overwhelmingly banana-y. So I'm assuming bananas in Brazil taste different than what I'm used to here in the United States. All of this has been really fun and interesting to try. These Brazilian flavors are unlike um, anything I've had so far in these boxes, which makes me really happy because I enjoy trying new things. They didn't have a potato chip, which is amazing. Every other box, I think for the most part, has had a version of the potato chip, and this one didn't, so that's exciting. We're getting into uh, unfamiliar territory, which is my favorite. It's an adventure, and thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed our little taste test of Brazilian snacks. And I hope you join me for the next video where we will go to a small Asian country that is debatable whether or not it's a country. So see if you can guess where we're going next and subscribe because I need more subscribers and you want to see my next video, right? Right, right. Okay. I hope you have a good day. Until next time eat more snacks.